this is my face. Oh, I feel so much better, I forgot I had it on. Okay, so, um, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here. We're going to go ahead and get started now. Thank you all for coming and uh, listening to us as we are singing for our dreams. You know how they say sometimes, singing for your supper. You know, have you heard that? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, artists are known to often do that. So I said, well, we're singing for our dreams. Uh, and some of us are going um, on a trip in April to New York City. I have about 30 people going, 25 <laughs> Yay! And uh, I'm going to sing in our famous Carnegie Hall, which I have kissed the floor of just once or twice. But yeah, I'll, they'll let them have the chance, although they'll have to bring sanitizer. And, um, you know, the rest of the choir is we're having a, a lot of fun getting all the music ready that uh, Dr. Bent will be conducting there, Jenny Bent, uh, will be conducting in New York. And we're working with her also at SSU on, on uh, some of us on Monday nights as we can. Not everybody has all the time in the world to do that, but it is great to see how we're adjusting to getting back to doing things for realsies, you know, in person, where you can't, like, just turn off your camera and do three things at the same time where you show up and rehearse and that's kind of fun and reminds me of the good old days and so I'm, gl I'm glad to see you here welcome so we're singing for our dreams tonight and I see that um, the uh, chamber singers are up there waiting to get started so I will um, tell you that we're going to sing some uh, madrigals the first uh, will be an American composer and uh, I want to make sure I have my music open. That's always really a good idea. And make sure that I actually have it ready to go. And William Billings, American composer, and then uh, John Dowland, also a, a, a British uh, English composer, uh, lutenist, and we'll talk a little more about him later. But uh, we'll start out with a famous round by William Billings. When Jesus wept, and we'll go right into his another piece of his called Creation. So here we go, chamber scene.
And now for some pop music. <laughs> John Dowland, um, wonderful romantic songs, often sung with uh, lute accompaniment. Uh, these are the madrigal voicings that he also did. And um, the first one is called Come Again, Sweet Love. You may know this one because Sting recorded it. Sting? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, we think you will like Come Again, Sweet Love. <laughs> sad fountains and uh, this is a sad love song
actually wrote this down. Uh, from, I got this. Um, these are program notes from the Greenleaf Singers, who are located in the St. Louis area in Missouri. And so I, I, I didn't come up with this myself, but I wanted you to know we're about to sing Fine Knacks for Ladies, three verses. And the text itself was written by Dowland. Uh, the underlying theme is that love remains true in the heart, no matter the value or amount of one's possessions. The first verse, the first time through, deals with materialism and the value of objects. Material objects being acquired such as ladies' knickknacks, fine knacks, money, gifts, trifles, lace, gloves, and toys. In the second verse, or the section, comes the idea that material belongings may not be all they seem to be. We say in the song, it is a precious jewel to be plain. Sometimes in shell, the orient pearls we find. In other words, the most precious goods may be found in something as simple as a shell or a heart. The third verse tells us that no matter what a person owns or does not own, love remains constant and true. Dowland uses the text, turtles and twins, courts brood a heavenly pair. And we have to sing that. <laughs> that is, right? Am I right? Turtles and twins, courts brood a heavenly pair. The turtles refer to two turtle doves. The twins, which are a heavenly pair, indicates Gemini, the twin star constellation. And the idea that love abounds when two find each other for life and that their love will be constant. The simple joy of true love is expressed in the closing words, happy the heart that thinks of no removes. Love is found in the heart rather than in trinkets and toys and will remain when it is rooted there. So I thought that was really lovely and we're about to sing that song for you. Fine Knacks for Ladies.
the chamber singers are finding their seats and I have four soloists who are going to come out this evening and these are four of our voice majors who will be going to um, university in the fall so um, I, I'll just tell you a little bit I, uh, not all of them have heard back from the places they've auditioned so um, maybe we'll just say where they audition but I do know that our first singer will be Maggie Millard, and I know for a fact she's going to Sonoma State as a voice major in the fall. So, yay, Maggie. Thank you. 
Nancy, goodness, that's a wonderful piece. That's a wonderful piece. I'm so amazed. And now our next singer will be coming out. He's waiting to hear back from five different schools, and it's just like, no. Oh. But this is Chris Chiota. because the text for that song, is, it's one of the sexiest songs I've ever heard. I just love that song. Yeah, and then you can see the translation there. It's such a beautiful translation. You know, I'd like to make a chain of your hair and draw you to my side, and I, I want to be a, a jug in your house so that when you take a drink of water, I can kiss your lips. I mean, wow. It's a really great text. Um, okay, it sounds great when a guy sings that. I used to sing it all the time, too. But. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> and now we'll have uh, our fourth singer tonight, which will be Lilia Salidorico. She's also waiting to hear from five schools, wow. so we are wishing all the best. <laughs> and I didn't say the last song, so I hope you're looking in your program because it is The, the Years at the Spring. <laughs> Thank you. 
something. This, this is the Daylight Savings song. <laughs> Mornings at seven, years of the spring. Yeah, get up earlier. Um, and that was beautifully done. And I just want to say a shout out to Lilia. She got up this morning and sang it at 8.30 or 9 in the morning for uh, the high school chamber singers over at Maria Carrillo High School. And Nancy played it at that hour too. That, and and uh, so and here she is tonight. It's 12 hours later and she's you know, pulled it, or 11 or something. And um, good job, Lilia. Lilia. So. <laughs> So I'm very proud of those, those four singers as they go off to become um, professionals in the field in some way, shape, or form. They're certainly going to be well educated at these places that they're going or planning to go. So um, I'm very proud of them and I'm going to ask the, um, the uh, concert choir to please start to get ready to come on stage while I tell you that um, we've had an interesting year being back in, pub in person. Um, it's been interesting educating ourselves how to get things done. It seems like everything takes three times longer than it used to, to just get something accomplished. And of course, you know, the rehearsals, many times people absent just because they're afraid they were exposed to COVID or, you know, they had a positive test from somewhere else and all of these things. It's been really, um, it's been a learning curve coming back into the reality of post-COVID world, but I'm so happy we're doing it. During that whole time, we, we did do some presentations online, but it just isn't the same. And um, we also depend a lot on, um, on uh, the ticket sales that we do for our concerts. You know, we had just sort of gotten used to that we would have, we'd sell tickets and, and then we'd buy things for students and give them scholarships and do things with that money. But we really haven't had a lot of income for almost two years now. So. Uh, I'm very grateful to see you tonight, and I do want to say, as the as the concert choir comes on stage, um, as you leave tonight, there are these two little acrylic boxes, and I hope they're in some place where you can find them. And I have given them all. The singers here have are all supposed to go out and, and talk with you and meet with you and show you where those boxes are, where you can put cash in, and or checks written out to center, SRJC. Choirs and please, I would be so grateful, and I know these singers behind me would be very grateful as well. Uh, if you would help us, we are going to New York City, and that is one expensive trip. And not everybody is going in the choir, but uh, several of them are, and I think all the chamber singers are. Can you raise your hands if you're going to New York City? Yeah, yeah. So um, it costs. It, how much is it? How much <laughs> does it cost? It costs like three thousand some uh, each, you know, something like that. So we're all we've been raising money, and and I would just like to say, please feel it if you uh, feel, we beg that you feel tonight that you can be generous and that you can give us, you know, what you have in your pocket, spare change. We'll be happy to have it, and thank you ever so much. And please do, we have a concert coming up in May after we're back and we're celebrating and we're folding everybody into the joy and the love. And um, so we would like you to invite people to come and be audiences again, be, learn how to be an audience again, that you can go out and, and listen to music and listen to what people have done uh, together in a group, in a room at the same time without Zoom and mute and all of those delays. So uh, thank you very much. I just wanted to say that and you'll hear it. Don't worry, I'll remind you before you leave. <laughs> yeah, anyway here. The concert choir, Santa Rosa Junior College Concert Choir, ladies and gentlemen, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> up very nicely. We're going to start with a beautiful Handel piece from the Oratorio Samson. Thank you. 
very, very lucky choir educator. I have Nancy Hayashibara, and I want to say I've gotten way too comfortable saying, oh, it's, a, it's for a whole orchestra. Here, Nancy, just play it. Would you add the piano? Thank you. I mean, this, we're about to do a piece that's really got this very, very beautiful orchestral setting and that we will be able, some of us who are going to New York, will be able to sing with an orchestra in New York City. And uh, I think uh, that's it. Yeah, that's where we're going to do it with an orchestra. It's getting uh, interesting with my head, so sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, I, I just wanted to say that um, this is a beautiful piece of music. Um, it's about, again, uh, about the the blessed spirits who leave us and go up to heaven and who or are there in the bliss as as innocent as newborn children uh, in the in the rocking breezes of the heavenly spirit with nothing no destiny at all no future just that and meanwhile we our destiny here on earth is to uh, is to stumble around and and to be thrown like like water throws you around the cliffs, like uh, like a river throwing uh, from boulder to boulder on the cliffs, and uh, it's all the time in this unknown, just just staying there, and it kind of goes to this quiet ending, just staying there in uncertainty, uncertainty, um, and it just ends. So I wanted to tell you that because it seems as like. You know, it, it doesn't have a big like, and that's the end. So it's a very different kind of piece, and it's, it's really interesting. I'm very proud of these singers behind me. Very proud, because this is a difficult piece, and you know, it's just one of those things, you go, well, we're, we're, here we go. <laughs> and they did it, and, they, and I'm very proud of their German as well. And if you're a German speaker, I think you will be too.
wonderful audience. And we're about to storm New York. So we all want to be passing over, baby. So these, a lot of these students behind me don't have three thousand dollars. And I know you're going to find it in your heart to put some of that extra cash or a check, maybe even that you made out to SRJC choirs in one of those boxes. Meanwhile, we're just going to spread a lot of Santa Rosa love to the city of New York. And we thank you for your support. Thank you, Nancy, for everything you do. And please do join us on Friday for the band and symphony concert here. Same time. Dr. Jerome Legg and Cindy Michael will be in charge of that one. So we'll see you there. And look for us in May. Music Week. Ha <laughs> ha.